we're the Parks Restaurant Group, and uh, I'm Nathan Wagner. I'm Sydney Bagby. I'm Amon Turner. And I'm Alan Sloan. And we're working with Deborah Obalahun on her Unity Restaurant. It's located in Bauchi, Nigeria, and she inherited it from her late husband uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, she works very hard with four other employees, and it's in, located in a very busy area of Bauchi across from a movie theater and next to a, a college. And, um, People like the food that Deborah makes, and it's really the only way she can support her family. It's her sole source of income, and uh, she wants to put her kids through school, so this restaurant's very important to her. However, she's come across some issues, and we're trying to help her out with those. Yeah, so there are three main issues that we've had to solve during these six days. Uh, the first one is there's no advertisement outside of her current customers. The other one is there's a lack of awareness in the community and outside of the community of her restaurant. Also, she cannot, like, if we get her more customers, which we will do, uh, her restaurant's not big enough to hold them. So here are our solutions to these problems. First, we have set up a Facebook and a Twitter page to advertise. Also, we have t-shirts and flyers, and we have also created a radio ad, and we're going to do flash sales. So our first two forms of advertisement are on the Facebook page and the Twitter page. Facebook on the left, Twitter on the right. Um, these pages are going to touch on her traditional Nigerian food and her wholesome values. They're also going to contain information on when she has flash sales and special offers. So we know it looks bare, but it's because we, she hasn't approved what pictures she wants on the pages yet. So next we have the flyer. Um, the flyer highlights her affordable prices and her um, most famous dish. It has uh, her location, um, all her contact information, and social media. They'll be put up at hot spots like um, the market where she buys her food, local shops, and the movie theater. In addition to that, we have a radio ad and flash sales. Um, so the idea behind the flash sales is that, say, it's a Tuesday, not that many people want to go get lunch, whatever it is, maybe it's really hot out. On a slow day, we can uh, send out, we bought 2,000 SMS text messages. Um, and we'd use her social media accounts to send out a flash sale. So, for example, 2 o'clock on a Tuesday, she sends out the flash sale, says 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, if you buy an entree, you get a free drink. Something like that to bring some business to her restaurant on slow days. The next thing that we did to improve attendance in her restaurant was we designed t-shirts. Um, we're going to order 20 of these t-shirts. Um, here's the design. Uh, and up there is our logo. It's uh, purple because, as you guys know by now, that's her favorite color. And she's uh, serving the community with her hand in addition to supporting her family because that's why she's doing this, to put her kids through school. On the t-shirt, we have her Gmail, her email account, her phone number, and where to follow her on Facebook and Twitter. And the idea behind these t-shirts is that um, she can use them kind of as a walking advertisement and as an incentive for people going to the restaurant. So uh, she, her and her four employees could wear this t-shirt as an advertisement and say, you go visit a restaurant four times in one week, you get a free t-shirt. That way people are getting rewarded to be her customers and also advertise at the same time. So we also have a lot of future plans for um, Deborah's business. One of the most important things she talked about was expanding her catering and delivery business. And right now she can only deliver to places that her employees can walk to from the restaurant. So once we have enough money from the customers that come from this advertisement, advertising, um, We'll be able to um, purchase some sort of sort of vehicle, like a moped or a motorbike or whatever Deb would like, to get her employees to those further away locations, so she can deliver and cater to more people. As well as um, once that's implemented, um, trying to do franchises and branch out to other communities and towns um, in the area. Another thing she would love is having more ingredients to cook with. So we'd also look into that and looking into uh, markets in other places of the country so they can bring out um, ingredients to her to make more dishes to bring more customers. All right, so here's our uh, cost breakdown. Um, as you can see, we're under budget, and uh, we can use this extra money towards furniture or putting a large banner to advertise her restaurant because she's very interested in having new furniture. So uh, just to recap here, uh, to increase advertise or to increase awareness about a restaurant, we're going to advertise using social media, flyers and t-shirts, radio ads and flash sales, and the income coming from the influx of new customers due to the advertisements will allow her to uh, support her family and not only get a better life for her children, but also for herself eventually. And that's all we got. Thank you for your time.
is flowing. I mean, you will master everything, every bit of it. I mean, I I also love the, I mean, the description of the location. I mean, nobody has described exactly where the location of business is, so that people would understand how busy that place is. The place is located in an area where there is college, there are banks, there are other offices. And that's why, that's why she has her primary customers. I mean, by the, by the time you say that, any person that is listening to you, he knows how busy that place could be. And also, like the, the logo and the T-shirt, I mean, you presented, I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. I mean, it, it will help to advertise her more among, I mean, the, the neighborhood that's where she, she is located. Uh, you've done a very good presentation. Yes. Pam, and I liked your, um, we will do. Like, <laughs> own it, don't, don't hope for it, just say you're gonna do it. Um, your presentation was very clean and well organized um, and very well articulated, which, so it was very, very nicely done. Um, I appreciated that you had specific suggestions on how to use the flyers, where they would be used, and how they would bring in potentially more customers. Um, also, really like the T-shirt design. The logo has some really good symbolism behind it, and it is also attractive. Um, and again, you had specifics on who's going to get these shirts and how are they going to be used and distributed. So um, it's also very realistic to say, okay, we want to expand, but if we're going to expand, we need to have a plan for bringing in additional capital. So let's take the seed money, bring in the additional capital, and then talk about expansion. So I thought it was very well done. Yeah. You guys are a team that really cared. It's obvious that you just didn't want to give her a logo. You wanted to give her a symbol, so every time she saw her shirt or her employee shirt, she wanted to keep moving forward. You know, you were respectful enough to make a Facebook and Twitter page, but wait for her to tell you what you could put on it. So you weren't just telling her how to like run her business. You wanted to work with her to run her business better. And that's a big difference, because some people are just like, this is the way it has to be, and you more wanted to make a future with it, which changes the dynamic of this, you know, of the consultancy. So I think for all of those reasons, it's a great presentation. I really loved all the points you made. I really think each thing built upon the other. The radio ads, the flash sales, the flyers, the t-shirts, it all came together really, really well. Great job. Join the Global Young Innovators Initiative. Transform the world. www.icantransformtheworld.org